Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ahawa Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Y Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Seek the Lord. All right. And I shared this image, you know, on this background, you know, because, you know, through the spirit, you know, the Lord, you know, put the spirit on me to do this lesson. And these are the men that you see that the Lord set up, you know, starting from high priest, Rabbi Abba Bivens, all right, Elder High Priest King Masha, Elder High Priest, right, Elder High Priest Yaqua, right, Elder High Priest Ariyah, on down, all right, and these are always been the men that the Lord set up, and um, the only way that you can be able to seek, seek the Lord, man, is through his prophets, all right, that always have been set up, and we're going to go into the scriptures on this, man, you know, Lord one is less than edifying. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 28. It says, For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Right. Because at one particular time in our life, we were embedded in the ways of this society, of this world. You know, we looked at these, you know, celebrities and thought that, you know, that was the life to live, you know, at one time. And we thought it was all about cars, clothes, and hoes. Right. We thought that that what is that it was all about, you know, being a, a gangster, you know, or should I say a wankster? Cause you ain't really a gangster, man, you know. We thought that we thought that that all, that's what it was all about, in 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 our previous lifetime. But you know, through time, you know, the Lord woke us up into the truth, and the Lord, you know, gave us that mercy and gave us that understanding through the Spirit, making us a new creature, right? So we came into the truth. The Lord called us into the truth, right? Because we didn't choose the Lord. The Lord chose us. And as we came into the truth and how we were edified was through his prophets, right? The Lord gave us that baptism of washing of word through his men. And these are the men that's up here are the men of the Lord today. All right. And the men before us, right? Let's read again. Baruch 4 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from Yahweh Bashim Ashai, it says so being returned, because we came back. The Lord gave us, you know, our uh gave us mercy, man. Right? And I'ma um prove that real quick. And I'ma get out that precept uh new creature, right? Cause we gotta be that that new creature. Let me get that out. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. It says, therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, right? Because going back, you know, going back into the precept that I just read of Baruch 4 and 28, right? It says our minds, you know, uh, went astray from the Lord because at one time it did. But now the Lord gave us that washing of water, right? He brought us into the newness, right? We put off that old man and we became that, that new creature, Right. And now that we're returned, we don't have the same mindset that we had back when we were in the world. You shouldn't have that mindset, man. You know, this is Baruch. Let me actually go back to uh, finishing that off, that new creature. Second Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. And we became that new creature, man. The Lord washed away, you know, uh, the Lord basically cleansed us in the word, right? And we put off that old man and we came into the newness, right? Going into that second Peter uh, one and nine or his first Peter one and nine, one of those precepts, right? Being called out of, out of the darkness into his marvelous light, all right? And that begins with what? Uh, so being returned right we, we converted right we repented and now we're that new creature you know 
So the only way for you to be able to seek the Lord is through his men. The Lord always had men set up. It says, seek him 10 times more. This is Baruch 28, 4 and 28. Baruch 4 and 28. It says, seek him 10 times more. Con. So we got to seek the Lord 10 times more. All right. We got to seek the Lord 10 times more because before we came into the truth, we didn't know the Lord. We didn't know that the name, the true name of the Heavenly Father was Yahweh. We didn't know the true name of his only begotten son was Yahweh Shai. We didn't know that we were Hebrew Israelites, the true Israelites according to the Bible. We didn't know those things until what? Until the Lord set these men up. Until these men, you know, the Lord gave them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Spirit. And those men, the Lord speaks through. We saw those men on YouTube teaching, right? And our spirits received that calling of Yahweh Bahashim Shai. Now we're, you know, we learned under these men right we went down to the camp of these men if you have or other than that you probably woke up you know tuning into the live streams but you know you had guys like brothers like myself that actually have been down to the gms camp right and have woken up through the spirit you know some brothers was directed by other brothers in the troop as well like myself by brothers in gms and we received the understanding so you know there's no such thing as you reading the Bible like a novel coming up with your own doctrine, you know, setting up your own doctrine. You don't need to do that. It's already been laid out by these men up here. So these men have laid it out for us, which is a beautiful thing, which is awesome. Because now we can get the proper breakdowns. We can get the understanding. All we got to do is take notes and learn and then teach it. Because back in their time, they had to, these men really had to put the labors in, you know. To, 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 to get this truth, you know, and that's a blessing that, you know, the Lord gave these men the correct doctrine and we can teach the correct doctrine. That's all mercy through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. So Baruch 4 and 28, Salakia for the rambling elders and brothers. Baruch 4 and 28, it says, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Lord and we did at one time. Now we have, now we're not. We seek in the Lord 10 times more when we came into the newness. We received the water baptism, which is of the word. It says, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. So you're supposed to seek the Lord 10 times more. And the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord is through his men, the prophets. You can't be setting up your own doctrine. You can't be doing that. All right. The Lord always set up men to follow. All right. So you are to fall in line and know your place and learn from these men here. There's nothing wrong with learning from men. Apostle Paul learned from men. Right. Apostle Paul, he was under the Pharisees. He was a Pharisee. You know, one of his high mentors was who? Gamaliel, one of the high ranking elders of the Pharisees. And Apostle Paul learned the laws very well. He knew the laws very well. Right. But he went away from that and learned under the apostles and became an apostle himself. But one of his high ranking elders that taught Apostle Paul, his, his name was Gamaliel. You can look it up. One of his high mentors. Right. So the prophets always have men set up. The Lord always have men set up. Luke 1 and 70. Let's get it. This is Luke chapter 1 verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the Lord always have men set up. Camps always been set up. Because you got Jakes out here that they have the I don't need to follow camp doctrine. Well, you are supposed to follow camps, but you want to make sure that you following following the right congregation, the right men. Because the Lord has also set up false prophets on the other side. So the Lord has true prophets set up and the Lord also has false prophets set up. And the false prophets are basically to deceive the two thirds and the righteous prophets, the true prophets are for the elect. That's why the elect is only getting this truth and the two thirds, they're being shifted out. They're being shifted out. They're getting kicked out. They're getting, you know, they falling out of the truth or they go off and set their own doctrine because the Lord is doing a shifting. There's a shifting that's occurring. But these men here are the men that you are to follow, right? Those men, through those men, we're going to receive salvation. So you want to follow those men. This is Matthew 10 and 20. For it is not ye that speak. So it's not these men that speak. And this is the thing. A lot of you Jakes, you guys hear these men teach, great millstone teach, and you get offended by what they're saying. But you fail to realize it's not them that's speaking. It's the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimah Shai that's speaking. But you looking at it from a carnal sense as, oh, these dudes is just doing this, just nitpicking at me here, here. No, the Lord is rebuking you. The Lord is putting the spirit on these men to keep us in order. These men are our parents and the spirit. 
to keep us on track. Elder Manatsu Zagba, Elder Karatsuza, Elder Yashawamba, the Elder Orlando, right? Many of the elders, man. Elder Apostle Harga Bar Ramla, Apostle Raka. You know, many of the elders, many of the big bros, they, they keep us on track from going off. They want us to be saved, man. They love us. We should love them too. You should love them. I love them too. Because they, they, they're keeping us in order, man. You know, it's all about humility. That's why even, you know, I always say Salakia, you know, if an elder give me a statement, say, don't do this, don't do that. I always say Salakia because, you know, that's a blessing. I'm, I appreciate that, man. Even if I feel I didn't do anything wrong, I still say Salakia because, you know, the Lord is guiding me. The Lord is speaking through that individual to guide me. I'm growing, you know. That's what it's about, humility, man. So even if you feel you didn't do anything wrong, hey, still say Salakia, man, because, hey, that's mercy of the Lord, man. That's how I look at it as, man. That's that's something I always work on with myself. It's, it's humility, man. I don't want to be prideful, man. I hey, the water, man. It's like it, man. You know? Because that's what it's about, man. You, you trying to receive salvation. And the Lord is speaking through these men, man. Matthew 10 and 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So the Lord always have men set up. All right? Regardless if you believe in it or not. And if you a Jake that say, oh... Uh, I don't believe in following camps Then that's the, that's your lot The Lord has you blinded like that The Lord has you blinded like that man Alright This is uh, Jeremiah 9 uh, 29 and 13 Jeremiah 29 and 13 And ye shall seek me and find me When ye shall search for me With all thine heart And that word heart is a Hebrew word which means mind And we're going to be able to find the Lord how are we able to find the Lord? The men of the Lord, the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. That's how we're able to seek the Lord. That's how we're able to find the Lord. Those men set up videos. They set up three videos every day and they set up camp once a week. And we're able to acknowledge the spirit of Yahweh Bashimashai being brought out through those men. And we're getting that we getting those getting that correction, man. We're getting that uh, edification, man. It's the Lord speaking through them. It's the Lord guiding us, man, through those men. Alright? And if you a Jake that don't believe that, then hey, you're you're maybe you're not a dialect. Maybe you don't you maybe you're not fully persuaded in your own mind. Because these are the prophets that the Lord set up. This is 1 Chronicles 16 and 11. It says, Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his faith continually. How are you gonna be able to seek his face continually? The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, getting that correction, getting that edification through the spirit, man. Seeking that righteous, man, right? Righteousness, right? Continually be embedded in the ministry, being embedded and teaching the correct doctrine, humility, meekness, man. Continually growing, man. Ask the Lord to keep having mercy on you and having you walk in the right direction following these men. You know, that's how you're going to seek the Lord. It's through the prophets. That's the only way you can seek the Lord. Reading the book of Enoch, you're not seeking the Lord. That's false. That's a false doctrine. That's false doctrine. That book is not, it's unbiblical. That book will bug your ass out. You're right now there's books that you can read that do line up with the scriptures but you mainly want to be able to understand and be able to have the proper breakdowns in the bible because that's your main that should be your main focus is receiving the understanding through the spirit and power by Shimashai of the proper breakdown breakdowns in the scriptures and the only way you're going to get that is following great millstone because you got you got bishop nathaniel going off he's not a minute lord he gonna first say it's the mark he's gonna first say the motb is the mark of cain now he's saying that the MOTB is sin. So he, you can clearly say he's, he see he's a false prophet. That man is teaching false doctrine. So the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord is through Great Millstone. Those men are the men that the Lord set up. All right. So you want to follow those men. All right. Those are the men that you want to seek. All right. And through those men, Lord willing, again, we're going to receive salvation, man. All right. So, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to end it there with that. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, that's what's edifying. So, hey, man, the only way you're going to be able to seek the Lord is through these men. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, don't watch my video. These are for this is for the sincere uh Akim and Akwatium, the sincere brothers and sisters. So Lord Wonders, that's what's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.